Chair and Ranking Member Cole for the opportunity to testify on two of my amendments. The first, uh, number 76 to the Interior Spending Bill, is fam it's familiar to the Rules and Appropriations Committee. It strikes Section 435, which arbitrarily bans mining in my district. As the sole representative of this area and the Iron Range, I stand with my constituents in opposition to these anti-science arbitrary mining bans. For background, my district has supplied the iron that has built and sustained America. 80% of this country's steel originated as taconite, which was mined by my constituents. Occurring alongside this taconite is the Duluth complex, which contains 95% of America's nickel, 88% of our cobalt, and more than one third of its copper, along with rare earths, platinum, and other minerals, all in my district. Section 435 withholds funding for any mine plan or possible expansion of mining in the Rainy River watershed and the Superior National Forest. The provisions author will tell you it only targets one proposed mine, but let me tell you why that's one misguided and two untrue. First, it's misguided because this project occurs outside the Boundary Waters Canoe area and the mining protection area surrounding the BWCA as established in the 1978 Act. <clears throat> Let me say it again, there is no proposed mining in the Boundary Waters Canoe area or in the already existing buffer zone, despite the rhetoric you hear from the opposition. This ban is misguided because the proposed project will help supply our country's desperate need for critical minerals in the upcoming expansion of renewable energy and electric vehicles. After a mine in Michigan closes in 2024, there will be no more nickel mines in America. My district holds 95% of the country's nickel, and this provision bans even considering it. And Mr. Chair, on top of that, or Madam Chair, on top of that, the proposed mine target has already signed a project labor agreement with the Iron Range Building and Trades, who are supportive of my amendment. And second, the assertions that Section 435 only targets one proposed mine is untrue. <clears throat> there are three existing iron ore projects in a rock quarry that lie in or near the Rainy River watershed and Superior National Forest. Should Section 435 become law, these operations, which are necessary for this country's infrastructure, would not be able to consider mine expansions. Therefore, <clears throat> Madam Chair and Ranking Member Cole, I stand before you once again ask, asking simply for floor consideration of my amendment. Let the House vote on whether we want to arbitrarily ban development of our own minerals and infrastructure needs and slash union jobs as outlined in Section 435. I know where I stand and it's with the union miners and the building trades who know how to responsibly develop our resources. Madam Chair, I hope my colleagues in the House stand with me. And Madam Chair, Ranking Member Cole, I also urge you to make in order a bipartisan